everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Antoinette. If you are new here, I thought I would put together a productivity vlog. So we're gonna talk everything from productivity to meal prep, fitness regimen, and we'll talk meditation as well in this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already and turn on that notifications bell so you always know when I upload a new video. Go ahead and jump in to today's video. So I've shared this tip once before, but it is one of my favorite productivity tips and it's using the calendar on my iPhone and syncing it with my laptop. I have a couple updates for you guys, but I love using the calendar app to basically detail my entire day. I like to kind of bullet point my activities and even put them in the correct time slot so I know everything that's happening. If you've ever worked in like a hair salon or you've ever had to do like someone's schedule for them, to see all of your daily activities sort of bullet pointed for you so you know which times you have and gaps and like what you are actually gonna do that day. I also feel like it makes me feel very productive looking back on it as well. Like, okay, you've made use of this day. You did a lot of actually really productive things that you wouldn't normally remember you even did. I also went ahead and added color coordination to my calendars. Purple is tasks, blue is appointments, and then green is bills. Bills are obviously going to be all day tasks because I like to know like when I have to pay the bills. It's so helpful. Love having it color coordinated because I can see it at a glance and know exactly what I have prepared for the day. Another thing that I love is using the widgets feature. I never used to do this, but I have been customizing my home screen recently and I just find this so helpful to have the widgets. So the first one I use is the calendar widget and I like the medium size. They do have like an extra large one if you want to see your whole day. They actually have quite a few different calendar widgets. I also like the really large one like this and have it so you only see your calendar. It keeps it very streamlined for you just so I can have my favorite apps and then um, a little widget at the top just keeps me in check of whatever times I have to do certain things. And I like that it shows you the next few days as well so you know what's going on like Thursday I know I have Pilates in the morning that day also love to use a email widget now I have two different email widgets I use the first one is Gmail on the top here and then obviously my channel email my business email is gonna be here yeah just makes it so much easier for me to see it all at a glance so that is your productivity tip for today's video use that calendar app and then you can sync it to your laptop I love it so much more than using a like handwritten calendar so absolutely obsessed with that tip. <laughs> so as promised, I would give you guys a little fitness update. As you saw this morning, I went to Pilates. I'm back on my Megaformer workouts. I'm back on the Pilates workout. I think it's the best workout to do in the summertime, especially when you're trying to slim down. What's crazy is I used to die when I would do it. I used to be so tired after the first class of the week, and then I would take like a day off or two and then be back at it on a Thursday. Now I'm like doing it a couple days in a row. So I went Monday and Tuesday Day, and then I'll go Thursday, Friday, and that's four days a week, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but in the interim, I like to do hot yoga because those classes are so much easier. So I do like a slow flow yoga class on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I'm getting a six day workout, which feels only like a four day workout because the yoga classes are so much easier. Also been trying to get 10,000 steps per day. I have an iPhone, I don't know if you guys knew this, but you actually can see your steps on your iPhone. Now, if you're leaving your phone, like sitting at a desk and you're walking all over the place it ain't tracking that I don't think but if you are someone who has your phone on you all day it will track your steps for you so you can look at your steps on your phone I like to add a couple thousand because it obviously isn't tracking every single step like a watch would but you can kind of eyeball where your steps are sort of at it's such a great and easy way to slim down for the spring slash summer so do with that what you will I do have a class pass link too if you guys want a deal I'll make sure I leave my class pass linked down below that's all I use to book my Pilates classes. It's so much cheaper. I've been telling you in the recent videos that I am back on my spiritual journey, just trying to get more grounded and in touch with my spiritual side, whether it's through yoga or meditation. There's a variety of ways to do this, but my favorite thing I've been doing for the last few years actually is meditation. And for me, I have the worst insomnia. My insomnia is horrifying. I can be up for days if I'm not careful. So something that's really been helping me to cure my insomnia and get better rest which obviously has led me to be way more productive during the day because I'm well rested is meditation I've been listening to meditation albums at night before I go to bed for years I put on a new album every night put my headphones in I put my eye mask on and I just zone out and if you are in the creative field like me you are especially going to love meditation because I swear when you quiet your mind the answers to things creativity <laughs> relaxation the elimination of stress breathing deeply and just 
being more grounded and present. It does take work, but it is something that I've included into my daily routine every single day, and now I can't live without it, which brings me to my favorite app at the moment for meditation, which is the Aura app. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleep app that's won a Best of Apple Award and is used by over 7 million people. It's an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep, and it has thousands of meditations, stories, life coaching, breathwork, and even spirituality. It's also created by hundreds of expert coaches and therapists all around the world. It's a very straightforward app. It's similar to Spotify, but for your, your mindfulness. And it's a very intelligent app that's completely personalized. And it can even use AI to curate content specifically for your preferences. As I mentioned, I suffer with insomnia. So for me, I always use the sleep portion. I like to use the soft rain sound, plug it into my Bluetooth speaker at night sometimes, have it playing at night and I love the way it makes me feel like there's a storm outside or it's super rainy it's very relaxing I also love to do the meditation sleep albums like the yoga nidra I also like the release toxic energy sleep meditation that's a really good one any type of releasing of <laughs> or anti-anxiety anti-stress meditation are the types that I usually go for at nighttime especially but they have a huge variety of like full body relaxation meditations they also have live meditations and life coaches that you can contact they have a variety of things to help you on your mindfulness journey so if you want to start on your mindfulness journey with me you can join me in a 30-day meditation challenge I'm gonna be meditating every single day for the next 30 days I always do this no matter what I've been meditating for years but if you want to join me for the next 30 days I would love that be sure to check out the link in the description box where you can join aura for free the first 500 people will get a free trial plus 25% off be sure to check that out link is in the description box and huge thank you to aura health for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now it's time to finally make some meals today. If you are just tuning in, I tend to like a pretty low sugar, low carb diet, especially when I am trying to slim down. Definitely not encouraging you guys to go on a diet by any means, but this is how I change my diet when I am trying to slim down my kind of keto meals low carb meals for you guys. Now one thing about eating healthy is that you will find a few meals that you love and you will recycle those few meals over and over. I find that cooking wise is always best to cook your own food when you are trying to be healthy. I just think in general, whether it's weight loss or not, heart health, anything, cardiovascular health, it's best to cook at home. You know exactly what the ingredients are and what's going in and out of your dishes. Well, what's going in your dishes, I guess I should say. I figured I would do sort of a montage of my favorite meals, so it's gonna be lots of music, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if I don't see you. How rude. Okay, I have a quick grocery haul for you guys. I just went grocery shopping and this is what I picked up. Zoe's favorite food, she's obsessed. If you have a picky dog eater, the fresh pet, is a favorite for my meals i picked up some beef patties <laughs> i don't know why that makes me laugh but i wanted this obviously to make like burgers but like lettuce wrap burgers and then i also got some sweet potato to do sweet potato fries on the side it's going to be a very healthy but delicious meal um and then i got of course some ground turkey to make tacos with my you guessed it carb balance um flour tortillas if you've never tried these you guys there's no reason for you to buy regular tortillas ever again like you should just be eating the carb balance ones that are high in fiber and um just better for you all around anyways i also got sour cream to go with my tacos and then i also got pre-cooked chicken and not obsessed with this brand by any means but this is all they had so i got this to make like chicken wraps i love to make that mixed in with a little corn like a barbecue chicken wrap so good for lunch i can also make that with sweet potato fries if i wanted to and then i always love to keep some type of fruit on deck because i tend to get lightheaded sometimes uh, especially before workouts i love just eating fruit right before a workout too for obvious reasons it gives you energy so cherries are in season three different meals so I'll probably do burgers with sweet potato fries for one dinner, tacos for another dinner, and then chicken wraps for lunch. And I have some other options. For breakfast, I've kind of been skipping, but usually I just do eggs and bacon. It's self-explanatory. So there's my grocery haul for the week.
bacon. And then I've also been adding cottage cheese to my breakfast, not something I used to do, but it actually tastes great together. But more importantly, it's such a great source of protein. I recently learned that your body will think it's still hungry if it doesn't have enough protein from your meals. So it will keep eating until its protein need is met. So I like to pack on some healthy fats and proteins in the morning to hopefully stay fuller longer. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I'm also watching the Vanderpump Rules finale, who also watched, it was on a couple days ago. Wasn't crazy about this season, but I don't know why for some reason I was dying to see the reunions like I love a good reunion so that's what we're doing today breakfast and Vanderpump okay I'm gonna have one of my favorite snacks this is my little cheeky snack drawer there's barely anything in it honestly but this is one of my favorite healthy like snacks when I want like chips or popcorn I usually go for popcorn but pumpkin seeds are such a great alternative they have healthy fats no carbs they're delicious, salty, and what else? They have lots of magnesium and some zinc. Toss some olive oil on these and salt and have a little snack. you know, the meal between lunch and dinner. I always eat a dinner, which is like an early dinner, basically. I have tacos, I made a little homemade salsa, as you saw, and I made some elote. It's gonna be delicious, it's healthy. There's some carbs here in the corn, of course, but not many, honestly. The tacos are so delish, and the tortilla are the zero carb wraps that I showed you guys in the little grocery haul. And then I have Coke Zero because I can't live without Coke Zero. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat slash productivity tips. I never know what to name my vlogs, honestly. <laughs> I wish I could just name them like vlog one, vlog two, vlog three, but alas, here we are. I hope that you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.